PyCharm Professional is a commercially supported development environment that is customized for use with Python. It provides first-class support for both Jupyter Notebooks and working in cell mode, which is also known as Magic Python. It is widely used by practitioners in trading algorithm development. It supports a wide range of uses outside of scientific Python, and its large set of options may be intimidating for new users. Start by opening PyCharm Professional. Choose a theme, and then select Skip Remaining and Set Defaults. Select Evaluate for free, and then Evaluate. We begin by opening a project. There is no need to create a project here, since any directory can be upgraded to a project by opening it through this dialog. Navigate to the directory containing the Python introduction and click OK. Go ahead and close this tooltip. PyCharm will open and scan the directory. PyCharm creates indices for both the project and the full Anaconda install. If this is the first time you are running PyCharm, you might need to wait until this indexing has completed. When the indexing has completed, select the folder on the left and navigate into Course and then Introduction. There, you should see the notebook file demo.ipynb. Open this file. Click on Project to close the project pane for now. When the notebook opens, you should see two panes. The left contains code in markdown cells. The right shows the output of these cells. The markdown cells are pre-rendered and the formatted text can be seen on the right. The code cells on the left correspond to no output in the right pane since these cells have not been executed. Press the arrow button at the top of the window to execute the cell. This executes all of the cells. Running cells launches the Variable Explorer. This allows the type of a variable to be easily discerned. For example, we can see df is a data frame, and for values of variables that have been created in the notebook to be explored. Markdown cells are demarcated using hash percent percent followed by the letters MD. Code cells use hash percent percent without any text. This first cell prints the value of 2 times pi. The second cell loads some data and prints the first five rows. The final cell simulates a random walk and plots the simulated values. You can execute a single cell using one of two methods. With the cursor in the cell you want to run, you can click on the light bulb and then select Run Cell. This cell uses random values, which change every time the function standard normal is run. If we run this cell again, we get a different plot.
you can also run individual cells using the keyboard shortcut Control and Enter. Here, the pot is changing each time I press Control Enter. Selecting cells in the left pane highlights the cell and its output in the right. Selecting also auto scrolls when content is not visible. Scroll down to the bottom of the notebook. This final cell shows some examples of text you can create in Markdown. Markdown supports headings using the hash character. Text can also be written in bold, italics, or monospace, which is particularly useful for inline code. Multi-line code blocks can be created using triple ticks at the start and end of the block. Markdown supports supplying the name of the language after the first set of triple ticks. Here, I included Python to specify this is Python code. Equations are supported using LaTeX. Nline Math uses a single dollar sign to start and end the block of LaTeX. Equations use double dollar signs to start and end the equation. Finally, basic tables can be constructed in Markdown using pipes and dashes. Return to the bottom of the notebook, which contains an empty code cell. Enter import numpy as np, and then enter np.array with some parentheses. PyCharm shows a minimal amount of help known as the function signature whenever you first type a function. Don't worry about what these values mean. We'll cover array in a later lesson. PyCharm also supports displaying function help when using scientific mode. Select scientific mode by clicking on view and then scientific mode. This opens a documentation explorer in the right panel. Here we can see the help for NumPy array. The help lists the inputs, describes what they are, provides some examples, and at the bottom of the documentation, we can see a link to the HTML version of this help. Let's close this notebook and take a look at an alternative method to use PyCharm. PyCharm supports a second approach to write Python code called Magic Python, which PyCharm generally refers to as scientific mode. This mode uses standard Python files and does not support Markdown. It does, however, support using cells which are demarcated using hash percent percent. Right click on introduction and then select new Python file and use Debo as the name. This will create an empty Python file with the default extension of py. Check that scientific mode is enabled under view scientific mode. If it is not, select this option. Start by creating two cells using hash percent percent. Enter this is a cell in the cell. You can execute the cell using three methods. You can press the play button at the left to execute the cell. You will see the cell executed the terminal. This is different than what we saw in notebook mode, which shows the output of a cell in the right pane. You can also right click in the cell and select 
run cell in console. Finally, you can simply press Control and Enter to execute the cell directly. In the second cell, you can enter import numpy as np, and then the next line, enter np.array. In the right pane, you should see the documentation for array. This is the same documentation that we saw when using scientific mode with Jupyter Notebooks. It is also similar to what Spider provides and is a valuable tool when beginning to learn Python. Finally, it is worth noting that PyCharm automatically saves files. There's no need to save our work here, and we can close the file when we're finished. PyCharm is a feature-rich development environment that provides first-class support for notebooks. It's capable of directly reading and writing to notebook files, and so there's no need to import or export when writing code. PyCharm also allows markdown cells to be written and simultaneously rendered. It also supports using Magic Python when in scientific mode. It is free for students at accredited educational institutions and is available with a deep discount for other academic users.